journal entry, April 15th, 2040. The sky was red this morning when I got up out of bed. It reminded me of the beautiful sunsets we would get on the homestead in the old days. I find myself thinking more and more about those days, back just after the turn of the century when we were young, back before the chemtrails made the water undrinkable and the ground unable to provide the nutrients needed to sustain plant life. I remember when we could grow vegetables and fruits right outside our home in the dirt. I know that the red morning sky is caused by the chemicals in the atmosphere refracting the light from the rising sun. It's funny how something so completely damaging and unhealthy could reach into my mind and bring out a memory of something so pure and beautiful, of something so clean and wondrous. Sometimes when I close my eyes, I can still remember how the fresh air tasted. I remember walking through the woods and feeling the sunshine on my face and arms. I miss those days. Those long ago days when we still lived outside in the natural world. The days when we did not need reverse osmosis generators to clean the water and air. There is a young man named Connor who works in the greenhouse pod up on the top level nearest the surface. I really enjoy his company. He has a great sense of humor and makes me laugh. I'm so thankful that I'm still healthy enough to work in the greenhouse a few days a week. The community elder in charge of agriculture and food production is a kind man. Sometimes, lately, I feel as though I haven't been pulling my weight there. On my 80th birthday, I told him I wanted to volunteer my time. I felt guilty collecting currency credits still at my age, with all my physical disabilities. He told me that I was still a productive member of the team, and that my decades of experience were invaluable to the growing operation. He made me feel so good by saying that. He assigned Connor to work with me. He reasoned that Connor, being young and strong, could do the heavy lifting. He told me he wanted me to teach Connor all that I knew about food production. He said that with my knowledge and experience, and Connor's youth and strength, that we would make a great team. I believe he was right. Working with Connor has been so good for me in so many ways. I think it's been good for him, too. At least I hope it has been. Recently, I was showing Connor how to graft various apple branch varieties onto different rootstock. He did his first successful solo grafting project this week. He was so excited and proud. Truth be told, I, I don't know who was more proud, him or me. Well, anyway, enough about work. I'm going to be able to take the land shuttle this evening over to Community C. With all the chemical storms, it's been several weeks since the shuttle is run, and I'm looking forward to seeing James, my brother. I really miss him since he moved to the Community C pod in the mountains. It's been hard being separated from him, but he is such a gifted water production engineer that I always knew he would qualify for the Community C program. He has wanted it ever since I can remember. The last time I saw him, he was telling me about a new process they were working on. If it proves out, it could mean being able to get water from out of the ground again. Can you believe that, honey? Imagine if they could find a way to purify the outside air so that we could go out beyond the airlocks again. How incredible would that be? I know, I know, I could hear you saying how much of a dreamer I am. Just as if you were still here, standing right next to me. I miss you terribly, honey. I've been feeling pretty old and alone these past few months since Bobby died. He was the last of the old crew. I'm the only one left now. Of course, though, I miss you the most, my love. What would the guys have said if they knew I kept this diary? Or if they knew I wrote it as if I was writing a letter to my late wife? Well, I suspect they would have understood. I mean, as long as I'm not expecting you to write back, then that means I'm not crazy, right? Ha ha. Oh well. You know I do it because it helps me stay close to you. It helps me feel like you're still here with me. But I know that as long as I keep you here in my heart, that we will always be together. Good night, honey. We'll talk again tomorrow. I love you.